Hi, I'm Congressman Steve Scalise. Today, Speaker Pelosi introduced her newest version of a government takeover of health care. Unfortunately, the latest proposal by the liberals who are running Congress is still the kind of government takeover that the American people have said consistently that they don't want. This is a nearly $1 trillion bill that adds massive new spending, has hundreds of billions of dollars in new taxes, and also has hundreds of billions of dollars in cuts to Medicare that seniors clearly don't want. This is a copy of the bill that was filed today. Now, I think most Americans that were vocal at the town hall meetings in August were saying they don't want a bill that's going to add hundreds of billions of dollars to the deficit. If anybody thinks that this amount of new government takeover of health care is not going to add a dime to the deficit, I think they haven't read through this bill yet. But what American people also don't want is a bill that takes away the health care plans that they like. This bill actually allows the government still to come in and take away your health care plan, even if you do like it. This bill still takes away hundreds of billions of dollars in, in programs in Medicare that senior citizens have said they don't want removed from health care. The American people deserve better. I'm still going to continue fighting a government takeover of health care, but also I'm going to continue fighting to pass real health care reform like those principles we've laid out in H.R. 3400. In our bill, we actually go in and address problems like pre-existing conditions, which is a real problem in health care. We lower costs of health care for families by allowing people to pool together so a small business can get the same buying power as a large company. We allow families to buy across state lines and have more choices in health care. And then we address medical liability reform to reduce the cost by hundreds of billions of dollars so that people don't have to go to a doctor's office and have to have tests after test run that doesn't do anything to help your health care. It just prevents a frivolous lawsuit from your doctor. So let's go and fix the problems that exist in health care and make real reform. But we don't need another government takeover of health care in this latest version by Speaker Pelosi and her liberal lieutenants do nothing less than that.